Carly Russell's ex is speaking out after she admits her disappearance was a hoax. In a July 25th Instagram statement, Tamar Latrell Simmons writes, I was made aware of the false narrative after coming to the defense of my ex, Carly Russell. Myself and my family's nature was to react in love and genuine concern. We are disgusted from the outcome of this entire situation. I strongly feel exactly like you all, blindsided with Carly's actions. He continues, this is still an ongoing investigation, but with all the recent information and her confession now, we gain closure with this situation. His statement comes after he previously came to Carly's defense, issuing a plea to the public to stop cyberbullying her after she had returned safely home. Tamar told the New York Post on July 22nd, The only thing I can say is I want everyone to stop bullying her. Adding, I know what it seems like what she did, just stop bullying on social media. His new comments come one day after Carly admitted via her lawyer that her kidnapping was a hoax. The police chief of Hoover, Alabama, Nick Dirtzes, previously shared that update with the public at a July 24th press conference. There was no kidnapping on Thursday, July 9th, 13th, 2023. My client did not see a baby on the side of the road. My client did not leave the Hoover area when she was identified as a missing person. My client did not have any help in this incident, but this was a single act done by herself. My client was not with anyone or any hotel with anyone from the time she was missing. My client apologizes for her actions to this community. The volunteers who were searching for her to the Hoover Police Department and other agencies as well, as to her friends and family. We ask for your prayers for Carly as she addresses her issues and attempts to move forward, understanding that she made a mistake in this matter. Carly, again, ask for your forgiveness and prayers. After nationwide media attention on the case, investigators shared updates on July 19th after Carly claimed to have been abducted following her 911 call about seeing a child on the interstate on July 13th. However, the Hoover police chief said at the time that authorities had received no other calls about a small child on the interstate. Investigators also detailed a number of searches discovered in Carly's recent internet history. You have to pay for an Amber Alert or search. On July 13th at 1.03 a.m., the day of her disappearance, the term, how to take money from a register without being caught, was searched. On July 13th at 12.10 p.m., a search for the movie Taken, a film about abduction, was conducted. An investigation into where Carly was during the time she was missing is still ongoing. And Hoover PD says that the department has a meeting scheduled with Carly's attorney for July 25th.